What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to show you how to install the WP Rocket plugin. And in case you're wondering, WP stands for WordPress. Um, now, what we're doing in today's video is we're, we're working on a new website and it's extremely slow. So the WordPress Rocket plugin is going to help speed it up. And this is a site that we're working on right now, universityhousing.ca. And as you can see, it's not really bloated. Um, at least on the front end. However, um, in the back end, there are quite a few processes going on and it's pretty slow without caching. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Pingdom speed test and see what our benchmark is. Now, in case you're wondering, this isn't a paid video. I actually purchased this um, plugin myself, so no bias here. All right, so the speed test has finished up. It's just going to load up now, and we'll see what we have to work with. All right, so not too bad. Five and a half or 5.3 seconds in terms of load time. Page size is about 3.9 megabytes, and in total, 196 requests. So this isn't too bad. Um, as you can see here, we're getting a bit hung up at the redirect. That's from the standard HTTP protocol to the HTTPS. And what that's doing is when you type in the domain, it's going to boot you automatically over to the secured version. So there's a lot of lag time in there. But aside from that, there's not much else to look at. We'll scroll through here and see if anything else is being hung up. Aside from the redirect, it, everything looks pretty normal. It's nice quick load times there. Nothing out of the ordinary. There are a lot of Google Map processes which is probably not helping our cause, but overall everything else seems pretty good. What we really want to do is narrow down those um, those requests. So what we have here, navigated over to the WP Rocket website, so it's WP slash rocket dot ME. And this is where we're going to purchase and then install the plugin from. So in this case, I'm installing just the plugin for one website, so it's 39 bucks. And we're gonna go ahead and input all of our information. All right, go ahead and place that order. And time to log in with PayPal. Almost there. There we go. Payment successful. We're nearing completion. I'm just joking. We're about halfway through. Okay. So the order was complete and we're good to go. So now once you complete your order, you'll have the option. See that green button right there? you could directly download the WP Rocket plugin from this page. And that's what we're going to do. Once the plugin is downloaded, you want to head over to your dashboard, your WordPress dashboard, and then actually install it. So hit that plugin button, click on the Add New, and it's going to direct you to the plugin installation page, or at least in this case, the upload page. What we're doing here is we're finding that file. There it is, WP Rocket. Click on Open. And then Install.
All right, so it is installed. Go ahead and click on Activate Plugin. All right, so WP Rocket is officially, officially up and running. As you can see right there, you'll have a little tab at the top of the screen. And if you navigate over to the side under settings, you can also get to your WP Rocket dashboard from there. So go ahead and click on that. And scroll down and then click on dashboard. So what that says there, the second you install and activate this plugin, you're already utilizing some good speed improving measures. So right off the bat, you should notice a difference. Now at the bottom, you have your support tab, a bunch of other fun things in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually test and see what the website speed is just without doing anything. That's just installing the plugin and activating it. And we're going to see if what they claim is true. Go ahead and change the test from server to North America because that's where we are. And click on start test. All right, guys, as you could see there, look at that. What an improvement. 82% performance or 82 performance grade, 1.8 seconds in terms of load time. Our requests have gone down. And what else can we say? That's great news. So, as you can see, the WP Rocket claim right off the bat is true. Now, in addition to those settings, there's a bunch of other ones. You have some caching settings. You got file optimization where you can minify your HTML, your CSS files, um, as well as your JavaScript files. In addition to that, under the media tab, you could enable lazy load, which is great uh, for both images and iframes and videos. And then under your database file or tab, if you go ahead and click on that, there are some other cool options which will help optimize your database. Now all that is not mandatory but recommended which will help improve your load times even further. Now if you guys have any questions or any comments about this video please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you out. I hope this was of some assistance um, and if you did like this video please feel free to give us a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.